All right, guys, it's been like a month since Nor has recorded anything. So I think I'm gonna try to get him to record something for you guys. I know it's been like probably like about a month since he's done anything YouTube related. So let's go ahead, check up on him, make sure he's doing good. Um, and let's see if we can get him to record something. Oh, Nor, what What's are you up? doing? <laughs> This is for Nanny's garage? No, this is for your own personal, bro. Oh, is it that time right now? <laughs> it's that time, bro. It's been like a month. What it's are you doing out six. here? Oh, uh, <laughs> you know, I've been kind of a little busy, you know? <laughs> I think it's time that you actually install that exhaust that you got. What do you think? I think it's about time. I think it's about time, bro. Right, let's go do it, let's go do it. All right, guys, so the moment of truth, I finally got a modification for the E91 M3, which means I'm finally gonna be making a video on this YouTube channel. I really did not wanna make any YouTube videos on my channel that had to do with like business stuff because we have a separate channel that me and Jonathan kinda started, which is Natty's Garage, that's gonna be pretty much all business stuff on that channel. So I decided for anything I'm a personal from here on out, I either wanna do either personal cars for either me, my brother, or my wife, modifying the current cars that I have, which is my E91 M3 or my Audi R8. So I figured the E91 M3 is a build that we all Almost completed, but it's incomplete, mainly because this bad boy right here, chilling like a villain, the Valtronic exhaust. I'm not gonna lie, it took me a little bit of a while to kind of justify the purchase on this bad boy, um, but this right here is the full exhaust, full Valtronic with carbon fiber tips for the E91 M3. Everything we're doing on this E91 M3, I'm trying to do it more of a long-term thing. We're gonna get the car painted, we're gonna get sick wheels on it. Um, I'm looking for towards like HREs or something like that. The car is gonna be a menace. The car is gonna be absolutely insane. Those are the future plans for the E91 M3. That's the future plans for the channel. Kind of like a little update for you guys. But without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and pop up this thing because I cannot wait to hear the E91 M3. Ooh, talk about padding. They, uh, they packed this up, bro. pretty nice. As a, business, as a business guys right here. Oh yeah. Uh, I wish we did padding like this. <laughs> this is actually royally fancy. That's kind of nice. I'm actually going to keep this. Shout out to Valtronic. I like the stuff that we're fascinated yeah, with. I know. We're like so five years ago, we're like, you know, whatever. <laughs> but, oh, this is gorgeous. That looks really good. Dang. Is this stainless steel? I, or is I'm it not, titanium? I'm not sure, but this is just straight. Is this titanium? What is this? I don't know. I, I did the, I just chose the full Valtronic exhaust. Like I just went all out on the listing, but I mean, I'm not gonna lie. We did partner up with Valtronic, but I did have to still purchase this mainly because I want to work with them and stuff like that. We've worked with each other in the past as well. I absolutely love the company and they make amazing exhaust systems, but dude, this is better than I, this is, <laughs> it looks what crazy, the heck? Bro. let's pull this out, dude. Look at the design, dude. Dude, I know, it looks good. Bro, that looks insane. Oh that my god, the undercarriage in this car is gonna look <laughs> phenomenal. It's gonna be heck of white, so I think it's stainless steel, but brand. Oh my god, everything. Like, look how fancy this stuff oh, let's is. See if we can get that. Ooh. Oh, that looks sick. Oh, that looks so sick. What does that say? M3 E9X. I literally have never done a full exhaust in my life, so this is kind of crazy. Like, I've only done mufflers. Yeah. Muffler deletes, actually. A lot of muffler deletes. A lot but... of muffler deletes. <laughs> Oh my lord, this is straight heaven. The packaging is amazing too. Like the fact that it all stayed like this, like that's insane. All right, let's take this bad boy out. See how they've got the Valvetronic logo right here. Looks super sick. Flipping around. What else we got? Ooh, Ooh buddy, special. special. Ah, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, this is looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Oh my lord, dude. Look at the key. I've actually never had one of these. These are so sick. Oh, but feel the weight to it. That feels so nice. Ooh. Heavy, quality, actually. according to Jonathan. Quality. Oh yeah, two of them. Dang. <laughs> two bro. of them, bro. Right. I think uh, I think there was two options. There was a forged one and the carbon one. I kind of forgot which one I went with, uh, but I think I went with regular carbon. I'm not sure what kind of weave this is, but the reason I went with carbon is mainly because uh, I'm gonna get a bunch of carbon fiber goodies on the car. They don't really sell a lot of forged carbon for E91s. Like if it was an F80 chassis, I probably went with forged carbon, but because this is an E9X, I want a bunch of carbon on it, and I don't want regular carbon and forged carbon. So I think these look still pretty sick. Yeah. What in the world did you do to this thing? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't even know if it's alive, like. Bro, you're neglecting I, it, bro. <laughs> it's still got power? It's still got power, but bro, Brand new what is going on bro, over here? I'm not gonna oh, lie. Holy smokes. <laughs> bro, what the? This is a barn find, bro. 
<laughs> guys, when I say and I've been busy, I've been busy. Yeah, like, I've been busy. Too, I've, too, I've, we've been daily. I mean, I, I, I you've been driving that thing too. I've been, we've been daily <laughs> driving the i3. Honestly, guys, like the, the business is just when you start a new business, it honestly does take a lot of your time. This is like the first legitimate business. Me and Jonathan are actually doing this together right now. So I'm super happy that we have him on board. Um, but yeah, so basically that's been taking a lot of our time and I haven't really had time to kind of do some personal stuff, some fun stuff. So I said, you know what? This is the car, guys, that I'm going to put my life and soul into. We're not selling her. We're going to... I don't like to say um, Don't sell her. Don't sell her. Though. No, no, no. I'm never going to sell her. I, I, just, I always say I'm never going to sell her, but that, that word always ends up making me sell her. You know I what I mean? Know, so so just don't I'm just not even going to say about <laughs> talking about selling because, guys, we've done so much things to this car um, that it, it's just a lot of custom work to it. And selling it, I would never, ever do this again, honestly, with so much work. So that being said, I just feel like we should just make this the absolute best E91 M3 out there. Um, so that's why, again, we went with this exhaust. And uh, again, we need some new wheels. All the wheels are bent. Our tires are in pretty good shape. Look at the webs, bro. Oh, my gosh, bro. <laughs> like, this I mean, it has been this <laughs> wasn't just put here for the video like this was actually probably sitting here for a good month and a half two it's months been two months at least at least yeah so oh man bro even look at this <laughs> this tree to be fair kind of sucks when it comes to like uh needles like the needles always fall so yeah, it's this, not really this your looks fault a lot worse than it is but. it does look pretty bad oh uh, well <laughs> good thing is we're taking it to a car wash, we're gonna so. yeah, i don't want to i don't want to install the exhaust in this kind of shape yeah. so let's go and take it to the car wash give it a really good cleaning i don't know why the bumper Kind of popping out a little bit over here. And my nose is running. Give me a minute, y'all. <laughs> Ate some gas too, bro. Yeah. Shoot. I don't know. Can you even see that? I'm not gonna lie, bro. She looks good. It does look good. I haven't been here in a minute. <laughs> she sounds good and she runs good. I mean, look how sick this. I forgot we did the MBT Evo, guys. We have the, the P3 gauges. We got the amazing Ozzy steering wheel with the Lime Rock paint here. We're gonna do the exact same thing, obviously, with the the color of the car when it comes time to it. We got the beautiful carbon fiber trim. Bunch of other sick little upgrades. Again, more upgrades to come, but. Not for the let's just get this thing a wash. It just yeah. looks so bad. <laughs> Ooh, what the freak is going? <laughs> Dude, this thing is crusty, bro. <laughs> Not to mention, also, guys, uh, AC doesn't work. I don't know if Jonathan oh, remembers. Fudge, it's hot in here. So we might we might die. Oh. we might we might. I think I think we might survive it. <laughs> oh to be honest, AC was working at one point. I just don't know what happened to it. So I ordered a new AC compressor, but the motivation has just been kind of out the window. Oh man! So we, uh, I think the uh, modifications before uh, modifications before modifications before uh, maintenance is key. You know what I'm saying? So oh, yeah, <laughs> I think that, that's the saying, right? I think so, bro. <laughs> oh my bro, god, four miles, four mile, three mile range, bro. We gotta go to the closest gas station. Yeah, we're gonna go to Costco. Got my wallet. Got my wallet. All right, uh, bro, two mile two range. Two miles. You think we'll make it? One mile range, bro. You think we'll make it? Two mile range. Uh, <laughs> you see this? Where's the closest gas station? The 7-Eleven? We're, we're back up to three. Uh, let's go <laughs> to the 7-Eleven, bro. This just flying in the car. <laughs> Shoot, bro. It, it's literally... I don't know, you guys. It, you're not going to be able to see it realistically. But, Can they see it? It's what it's like. Uh, think... Let's see if we can focus it on that. Three mile... Two mile range? Two mile range. <laughs> Oof, bro. It's time to get some gas. <laughs> hey, bro. I hope we make it. Oh, uh, now we're going to be pushing this thing, bro. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, man. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. She crusty. <laughs> crusty, dusty, bro. Let's fill her out. I think she deserves it at this point, right? Yeah. Full fill up. I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my hands. Took so many years, I've been swaying for the wins. I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up, bank roll, bank roll. All right, guys, so for those of you guys who are probably watching this video, you either have an M3 or you want to get an M3, 
And typically the sound of these things are minimal. Like it sounds like a 328, I'm not gonna lie. It sounds terrible from stock. So um, I actually already disconnected pretty much the, like from the front all the way to the middle. Everything's disconnected. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna have an exhaust leak. But I'm trying to get you guys some before clips. So let's see if it'll work. It already, it already sounds louder, unfortunately. Yeah, it already sounds better. <laughs> it does sound better. Oh my god. Okay, alright, alright. So, if you guys want some before clips, I'll throw in a few clips right now. As you guys can see, it was absolutely terrible. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump in and install this valve truck. Oh, I think I fell in love with the bankroll. Pray up, get money, then we lay low. Then we lay low. Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll. Euro, euro. All right, guys. Shout out to uh, myself <laughs> for all the hard work. For all the hard work I put in on this. <laughs> Jonathan, how much of a sweat did you break? I'm not breaking any sweat, bro. <laughs> no, bro. I appreciate, it. guys. There wouldn't be a video today if Jonathan wasn't like, Nor, we should film something. I was like, <laughs> you got a point, dude. Like, I've been honestly getting used to. I'm not gonna lie. A lot of you guys have the opportunity to just work on your cars. A lot of people tell me like, how, Nor, how do you have the time to work on your cars and film YouTube videos and all this stuff? Honestly, working on cars without filming videos is so much easier. It is so much faster too. So um, again, I, but when Jonathan's actually filming, it's just as fast. So I appreciate you much. Of course, of course, yeah. baby. So we're actually, um, we got the whole exhaust on there. We have uh, pretty much from the cap back all the way to the mid pipes all installed. So at this point, we even have the O2 sensors all connected. Um, we literally just need to install the two mufflers, which is super sick. What I found out over here as well, this looks super sick from the top portfolio. This is actually where you connect the, uh, um, what is it called? Like the uh, like the vacuum line. The probably. vacuum lines, yeah, yeah. To the uh, module and that connects to the controller. Um, so yeah, that will connect in the end, absolute end. Right now, we actually have this faceplate right here. I think this is like a new thing. I don't think they used to always do this because I'm looking it up on Google right now. And I don't think this was always there. So I think let's, so this looks super sick from the bottom portfolio. <laughs> I mean, if a cop goes underneath it, he's gonna know, but he's gonna know. I mean, I'll say it's a Valvetronic original for factory. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, he's not gonna fall for that, but it, it does look really good. And then not to mention, uh, when you look at it from the bottom portfolio as well, you check that out. See, yeah, so you can actually see all the Valvetronic stuff on there, so. So again, I, I just love it. I love the details. I'm a huge sucker for details. I think that looks great. So like I said, let's go ahead and just get everything on here assembled so we can go ahead and slap it inside the M3. Guys, I had my, my my real reaction a second before camera. Oh my god, these tips look so good. I'm, <laughs> Jonathan, bro, stand right here. Kind of show them the tips it's, from like this perspective. It's very hard to get perfect, guys. No, so. but it looks super good. I mean, my other tips are sticking out this far, so they it looked look. like a joke, bro. <laughs> so these, what's nice about getting an aftermarket exhaust is that there's so much play with the exhaust tips. You can push it as much as you want, pull it out as much as you want. With the OEM one, because this is a wagon and because it's a custom build, um, it wasn't able to kind of line up the exact spot that I wanted to especially the muffler section so that came out absolutely amazing i still have to tighten a few things down there but we are so close to actually installing we have our vacuum lines we have our splitter as well and then we're going to actually uh drill a hole straight up and get it mounted on top the the control module we'll show you guys all that kind of stuff i'm going to go ahead and use this t thing connect some vacuum lines show you guys what i do here in a minute all right guys so we already drilled out a hole on this side so we're just going to drop out this uh hose nice. got it yep all right and then Nor is pulling it through down here. Just doing the little T connection down here real quick. So we got the T connection right here. We have both sides of the valve try to get exhaust connected and we actually have it now routed to the top of the car. So pretty much now we are done. We're officially done. What's it called? With the bottom side of the car. Pretty excited about that, not gonna lie. 
<laughs> I'm tired of being underneath the car. We need to get a lift, bro. We need a lift. ASAP. I'm about to oh, place wait. an order right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> but we seriously need one. You broke is a joke. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's... Yeah, that's all. That's all life is. But uh, anyway, so now, uh, now we just need to get the uh, module system, which is this guy right over here. Connect our Bluetooth antenna. That will be for our remotes. We need to get some Velcro to kind of set this down somewhere that it won't fly around in. Uh, I'll probably try to get some foam maybe and kind of get this sitting right here. Because again, the details matter for me. I'm trying to perfect this build. Uh, so we'll probably get some kind of foam insert and get that installed. For now, I'll try to put something else to make sure this thing doesn't fly everywhere. But the last thing, literally the last thing is the easiest part, which is just connecting the power. And the nice thing about this car, power right here. <laughs> no way. I actually tested that. We got power to it. So we actually no got way. a functional cigarette lighter in the back. That actually doesn't come on E90s, but we did yeah. the custom wiring. For it to work on this car so that's crazy the wagon details guys the wagon details it's pretty Ew. sick we should be having a functional valvetronic exhaust so you ready for this yeah all right but what's here it, does it actually you want to see if it clips open huh? is there power to the car though yeah actually, let's go ahead and just put power to it not actually uh turn Start it on it. just yeah i just want to see if the valves work real quick yeah yeah it's open oh it's closed open there we go it's working is it so i think actually I'm, i might be really stupid bro. i think there's two I, buttons i think there's two buttons I there's think two buttons right. it looks like one button <laughs> but i think if i click this yeah valves close right there so and then I click the, this so one side closes it one side opens it so the top opens it bottom closes it <laughs> all right well i think that's it it was actually i didn't even need to program the keys nothing special we have literally two keys that work so i guess at this point some revs with the valves closed. Well, let's do a start so it warms up a li at least a little bit. All righty guys, so this is a closed. bro how about the details bro the mm -hmm. details bro look at the exhaust tips it looks so good dude that's just proper all right again we let a little warm up a little bit longer we're gonna get some revs with the valves closed i'm super excited to hear this thing guys all right guys so this is with valves closed like an m3 it now it sounds oh my so God. good my allergies are so whack my face is probably all like messed up but well worth the install it is bro you want to you want to hold the camera That's close you want to see the reaction of, from behind here yeah yeah okay. it's so it. different all right bro rev it <laughs> bro that kid <laughs> bro this car sounds so bro, much better dude so loud dude <laughs> It doesn't pick it up, but it's it rings your ears, bro. Bro, I think my I think I'm sick right now, so my ears don't I can't really hear right now. Dude, but I like, wow, bro, this thing looks so good right now too. Oh my god, the tips, 
our black finally matching my black plate matching my black emblem just putting it out there guys by the way look it up online e91 m3 emblem location rear emblem location that's where it's pretty much sitting so i know a lot of you guys are telling me norm move it up right up here that's where all the pictures are leading to so let me know if you guys find anything different but oh my god guys that is just proper guys this is gonna be insane this is probably like i we've been working so hard that we honestly need a break like this to start getting into mods again and get it back into youtube and this is the perfect mod to start off the mod journey on this car i mean i mean we started already a bunch of mods on this car but like this is the perfect video to come back to youtube with because i've been gone for a minute and i didn't want to come back with a bad video so i figured this is pretty good <laughs> this is gonna be insane i cannot wait to take it down the block jeez about to be wild. <laughs> Jeez Louise, bro, you're gonna piss off the neighbors. Bro. <laughs> Holy smokes, dude. gonna get in some trouble with this <laughs> yo I'm a, I, I need to move out of california y'all we just crossed the border we fyi Sounds so good, bro. Oh yeah, my lord. This, is <laughs> this sounds so, so good. Yeah. It sounds so good. It sounds so, what did the guys say? Well, the guys are like, when you get it right, come back. I'm like, I'm like, I just built it. I don't want to crash yet. <laughs> they all came out to see it. It's insane. It, it went from when I first built it, guys, like, and just getting it all through all the inspections and whatnot. I didn't enjoy it as much. I'm not gonna lie. And I kind of like, kind of set it off to the corner. As you guys saw, I was neglected for like two months. As soon as I slapped on this Valtronic exhaust, I mean, I'm not trying to promote them heavily, but. It made the difference. It made the difference. It's insane. You bought his ears, bro. Poor kid. Oh bro, my god. That, yeah, that's insane. Holy crap. Oh bro. my I love this car, bro. This sounds so good. <laughs> oh my god. Like, bro, it's it's insane. Like I wanna drive it home, but at the same time. I don't have the money. <laughs> no gas. Money. <laughs> no money. Uh, the I'm money gonna take the, the i3 home, guys. <laughs> I can't afford the gas right now. Oh shoot, bro. Nah, I'm just joking. But I mean, like, all, like all jokes aside, though, I want to do a few more things to dial it in, and then I'm gonna be starting to enjoy it. Hopefully, more on the channel. There's a lot more mods I have in the shop right now for this thing, which we're super excited about. Hopefully, coming soon on the channel, guys. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. But I don't know, man. I don't feel like I want to conclude right here. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. I'll check back with you guys. I'll check back with you guys.